Hi and welcome to chendu.org. Today let's talk about a very interesting problem. Uh we all know about the sum ifs formula which is used to sum up whenever you want to find out what is the sum of values against a particular condition. Let's say you're looking at some sort of a data activity data uh, for a particular project and uh, you you have activity types and subtypes and the number of hours spent on those and you want to find out how much uh, how many hours are spent on regular activities you could use a sum ifs formula on this kind of a scenario and uh, write sum ifs of hours column uh, where type equal to regular and that will give you the answer okay but what if you need to sum up conditions that are neither new nor old or in an, another way uh, conditions where you you want to say uh, it's not equal to a or not equal to b what is the total okay so the sum ifs formula is useful when you have a condition of equality like this is equal to regular or a range of values or some sort of things like that but um, when you are summing up values for neither new nor old kind of scenario it it's not very effective so i'm going to show you some excel based solutions that will help you to answer these kind of questions um first let's take a very quick look at the data we have type and subtype and the interesting question that we have here is what is the sum of hours where the subtype is neither new nor old okay Uh, so essentially we are looking for blanks but it could be any other value as well uh, we are not interested in we new or old values we just want to in, find out what is the sum of values that are neither new nor old okay first let's take a look at the formulas for new and old itself these are simple formulas uh, for all types of activities we only write the condition on the hours column uh, with subtype that's equal to new if you if you look at that uh, let me just uh, change the alignment here so you can see so we we say data of hours or uh, sum ifs on the hours column where subtype is equal to new and that'll give you the answer as 108 which is the total of all the new uh, subtype hours same for old we will uh, write the similar formula but change the reference to g7 so that it will give you the answer for old now comes the interesting problem of finding neither new nor old in this case we could simply say sum ifs against blank but that's not effective because there could be other values here as well so we can use one of the two methods one is sum product based method that's the lo one and the other is d sum database sum function uh, let's talk about database sum function because it's interesting what you do is in a blank range you type the headings subtype and write a uh, less than greater than new less than greater than old that means not equal to new not equal to old okay you you can put it in double quotes like that so it's treated as text and then we we write the d sum function we say d sum of data remember to use hash all because we want the entire data table not just the data but headers as well uh, and then we will point out the headers because that's the column that uh, we want to sum up so we'll say header of hours so we want to we want excel to take all of this data sum up the hours column based on these conditions subtype should be not equal to new not equal to old this is an end condition because subtypes are maintained in two uh, separate columns so this will be treated as an end condition and that'll give you the answer as 46 so you can check this by you know selecting the number So when you select all the four values you can see that that's totaling up to 46 right now this is for all that means we are not interested in what is the type value but what if i am looking at how many hours are spent on regular type of activities okay not the one off activities only regular type of activities then our sum if formula changes to additional condition on type will be added uh, with regular as the type checking and that will give you the answers for individual new and old activity hours uh, for regular type of activity but how to do the d sum for the same we will use the same method but we will add an additional column of type which will be equal to regular 
uh, it should be equal to regular not just regular so we will have to um, you know set it up as double quotes so that it will show up like that and then we we simply use d sum again this time we will give this entire range including the type column as as the conditions and that will give you the answer as 30 which you can see here is the answer for 30 so if you select only these two values and that one and add them up the answer is 30 now let's take a look at the other formula approach we saw d sum formula not everybody is comfortable with this database functions called as d sum d count d average they're very powerful but they come with a little bit of baggage of having to specify the conditions separately and uh, not everyone likes them so let me show you another approach this uses um, some product which is again as you probably know is a very powerful function so we will say some product of hours where data subtype is not equal to new star data subtype not equal to old the star operator acts as a as an end operator and it will take all these values it will check whether the subtype is equal to not new or not and that will give you a bunch of false and true values okay likewise this will also give us a bunch of true and false values but when multiplied this will be true only when the value is neither new nor false so nor nor old let me just uh, select this and show you the result so you can see that this is only one for those activities where the subtype is not new or old okay so the sum product will give us that answer the sum product for this formula is similar only thing is we will we will add one more multiplication this time we will say multiply it with type is equal to regular so it will also turn off any one of activities and only look at regular activities where the subtype is neither new nor old so this is how you can answer questions like this uh, in many management reporting or data analysis we often face questions like this and uh, sometimes people resort to doing manual calculations because there is no simple formula solution but now that you know it go ahead and play with the d sum formula or the sum product formula options and uh, um, calculate and show the answers that your boss is asking all the best and i'll talk to you again in another video bye bye